Imagine a perfect day at the beach with your family, kids yeah. giggling and playing in the sand. But then suddenly, your little one picks up something and tries to put it in their mouth. Now, what if that something turns out to be a cigarette butt? That's what happened with my nephew and it left me completely shocked. Was that the only cigarette butt on the beach? No. An estimated 4.5 trillion cigarette butts are littered every year and a lot of them end up in water. They are the most littered item on the planet. Hello, you're watching It's All Plastic episode 20. For the past several weeks, News with Navya has been churning out new episodes of It's All Plastic to raise awareness on the invisible plastic crisis we're all facing. Cigarette butts are made of a man-made plastic called cellulose acetate, which is known to contain millions of toxic chemicals. A lot of plastic items that we know of are recycled, but cigarette filters are not recycled. And very often, they don't even make it into the trash. People drop them straight on the ground. These filters, which are the plastic part of butts, can take up to 10 years to completely degrade and the chemicals they release can remain in the environment for many more years beyond the life of the cigarette butt itself. The chemicals in cigarette butts such as nicotine, arsenic and heavy metals leach into the soil and water. It is not uncommon to find cigarette butts inside dead seabirds, sea turtles, fish and dolphins. India has about 267 million adult smokers which is the second highest in the world after China. In fact, plastic pollution from cigarettes costs $26 billion a year and China contributes around 20% of that global cost. The World Health Organization wants policymakers to treat cigarette filters as single-use plastics. Now, the good news is that there are solutions to this problem. Increased awareness, responsible disposal and the development of biodegradable filters are some steps we can take to fight this problem. Several companies around the world are making more environmentally friendly products such as smoky treats and green butts. As smokers put out cigarettes with their shoes in the open, a textile student in India designed a pair of shoes from discarded cigarette butts. Naman Gupta's code effort, launched in 2018, turns toxic cigarette ends into stuffed toys, cushions, paper bags, notepads and even mosquito repellent. Some companies have been more creative. Earlier this year, a Swedish firm said that it was recruiting crows for a pilot project aimed at picking up cigarette butts. San Francisco began adding a litter abatement fee on packs of cigarettes in 2010. Others have followed suit. France plans to charge tobacco manufacturers to clean up cigarette butts. In 2016, India banned the use of plastic packaging for tobacco products. But the problem is not just cigarette butts. As the use of e-cigarettes swells, so has the presence of discarded vape pens and plastic cartridges along seashores. People discard them just as easily as cigarette butts. Vapes are now finding their way into recycling so often that they're causing major problems for the waste industry. When the tiny batteries inside them are crushed or heated, they explode, leading to disastrous fires at recycling facilities. Cigarettes aren't just litter. They're a toxic ticking time bomb for our environment. And it is time to kick the butt of the most common litter item in the world. Watch It's All Plastic on our YouTube channel every alternate Tuesday at 8pm.